Hello guys, I hope you all are doing good. I am Vishali Kikan and today in this session we are going to talk about the oxidation process. In the oxidation we are moving a step further and we are going to discuss about the oxidation rate. Okay, we will be talking about the Deal and Grove model also. So there you can see how we have uh, the oxidation rate which depends upon the time okay at the different time how we have the different oxidation rate in this video we will be talking about some other parameters which are controlling the oxidation rate so first of all a quick revision towards the oxidation mechanism it is a simple process where silicon is reacting with the oxygen to form the SiO2. Oxygen is coming from the gas and it is reacting with the silicon which is coming from the substrate. Oxygen diffuses cross existing silicon dioxide layer and it again reacts with the silicon. This is how we are getting thicker and thicker layer of SiO2. So if I have already a substrate present the oxygen come to the substrate, it will get silicon, it will form SiO2. But if I have SiO2 layer already present on the substrate, then oxygen has to diffuse this layer and then it has to reach to the silicon. And this is how the diffusion will be playing a great role. So the thicker layer of the film, the lower the rate of the growth of the oxidation layer. Okay, this you can already uh, see with the help of Deal and Grove model and how we, we have already derived it. Now coming to the oxidation growth rate regime. Okay, so in the Deal and Grove model, we have seen that X is, is equal to B upon A into T. There we had the linear growth regime and when x was equal to under root bt, there we had the parabolic rate, uh, parabolic regime. So this is called the diffusion limited regime. As soon as the thickness of SiO2 layer is increasing, the oxide thickness layer is, its rate is decreasing. Okay, so the formation of SiO2 layer is decreasing as we are increasing the thickness of SiO2 layer because of the diffusion. How? You can see the previous videos on the Deal and Grove model. You can refer those videos. So if I talk about 100 silicon and if I am talking about the dry oxidation, you can see if I am increasing the temperature. So you can see oxid oxidation time in hours will be decreasing. So now here if I have uh, the 950 degree Celsius, the 950 degree Celsius will reach the same oxidation thickness before the 900 degree Celsius. Also we can have the maximum thickness layer more if I am having the higher temperature. So if I have to make more thicker SiO2 layer, I will be going with the higher temperatures. At higher temperatures, I will be getting the thicker SiO2 layer. At the lower temperatures, I will be getting a thinner SiO2 layer. So you can see at the 900 degree Celsius, I am not even reaching the 0.2 micron oxide thickness. But at 1200 degree Celsius, I am all almost reaching 1 micron oxide thickness that is 1000 angstrom. So this is how when I, I, I want a, a thicker SiO2 layer then I will be moving towards the higher temperature. Okay. So now coming to the wet oxidation. In the wet oxidation what happens? The silicon atoms will react with the water vapor. So in the dry oxidation silicon was reacting with the oxygen gas as the name suggests. But in the wet oxidation or it is also called the steam oxidation because the water vapor is also called the steam. So silicon is reacting with the two molecules of uh, the steam or the water vapor and it is forming the SiO2 plus the hydrogen gas is released. So at high temperature H2O is dissociated to form H positive and OH negative ions. So OH negative diffuses faster in SiO2 than O2 and this is the reason wet oxidation has higher growth rate than the dry oxidation. Okay, even though uh, this process is uh, using the water and here we are generating a byproduct as well. In the dry oxidation, we didn't have any byproduct. So you can see this uh, process is having the higher growth rate. We can get the faster oxide layer with the help of wet oxidation. 
Now if I talk about again the 100 orientation of silicon and now I am talking about the wet oxidation. At the 900 degree Celsius there I can only grow up to 0.2 micron but here you can see I am reaching up to 1.5 micron. So there is a huge difference at the 1150 de degree Celsius I can reach up to 3 micron. Okay, and more than that as well. Okay, if the oxidation time is around 20 hours, so it is a time consuming process. You can see it from the graph, you can uh, t uh, make out various inferences from this graph. Now, coming to the oxidation rate, it depends upon the temperature. We have already seen it, how it depends upon the temperature, it depends upon what type of oxidation process we are using. Either we are using the dry oxidation or the wet oxidation, then it depends upon the thickness how much thicker layer we already have it depends upon that then it depends upon the pressure if the pressure is high oxygen will be diffusing faster and it will be fastly producing the SiO2 then it depends upon the wafer orientation what kind of silicon atoms we have 100 orientation or triple one orientation we will be seeing we will be comparing both of them and we will be seeing how different they are then we will be seeing how the dopant distribution is dependent upon the oxidation rate or oxidation rate is dependent upon the dopant distribution how uh, how these affect the oxidation rate if i have silicon with n type of dopant or p type of dopant in both of them we have different oxidation rate we will be seeing it so if i talk about temperature oxidation rate is very sensitive to temperature and it will be exponentially increasing with the temperature at the higher temperature we will be having higher oxidation rate the higher of temperature the higher of the chemical reaction rate between the oxygen and silicon if the chemical reaction is higher which means that we are having the faster formation of SiO2 also at the higher temperature we will be having the higher diffusion rate of oxygen in the silicon dioxide so this is how we will be having the increased rate increased oxidation rate at the higher temperature then the wafer orientation one 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 surface orientation has higher oxidation rate than one zero zero orientation because we have more silicon atoms present on the surface one 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 orientation was a compact orientation the atoms were very compactly arranged and this is why we have the more silicon atoms if i have more silicon atoms it will be forming more sio2 so you can see here uh, in the in the wet oxidation you can see this is the oxidation time this is the oxidation thickness so this is the temperature so at 920 degrees celsius we had the lesser oxide thickness at 100 uh, thousand degrees celsius we had more oxide thickness at 1100 degrees celsius more and at 1200 degrees celsius furthermore we are talking about the triple one orientation in all of these uh, temperatures so now coming to the dopant concentration so oxidation rate depends upon the dopant elements and the concentration of the dopant elements in the silicon as well so if i have a phosphorus doped in the silicon which means i have n type of silicon it will be having the higher growth rate so less dense film and it will be etching off faster this is the property of the sio2 that is formed on the n type of uh, silicon which is having the n type phosphorus impurity so generally highly doped region has higher growth rate than the light doped region if I have more and more amount of impurities the growth rate will be faster so more pronounced in the linear stage of the oxidation as I am moving towards the uh, later stages because now the oxygen atoms has to diffuse the SiO2 layer then it has to reach the surface where the dopants are present so actually at the later stages the oxidation rate just depends upon the thickness of the SiO2 layer it is uh, highly pronounced the dopant effect is highly pronounced at the initial stages where the linear growth rate is there 
so now uh, the pile up and the depletion effect in the case of dopants so if i have n type of dopants what are n type of dopants phosphorus arsenic and antimony so it they will be having higher solubility in silicon than in sio2 and when sio2 grow they move into the silicon and it is called the pile up or snow plow effect so whenever we have sio2 and phosphorus so phosphorus or arsenic or antimony will be moving towards the silicon so this is called the pile up at the interface we will be having more amount of dopants in the in the uh, silicon atoms when i am talking about n type so if i have boron boron will trying to move in the sio2 and this is called the depletion effect at the interface i will be having lesser amount of boron in the silicon so you can see it here if i am talking about the p type of impurities in the p type of impurity we have lesser amount of boron at the interface it is decreasing the concentration is decreasing than it was actually present and in the case of n type of dopant it is piling up so this is the de depletion effect this is the piling up effect at the interface i have more uh, more concentration of n type of dopants so now coming to the uh, oxidation rate which Uh, depends upon the hcl so hcl is actually used to reduce the mobile ion contamination so it is widely used for gate oxidation process only and here we can grow, uh, increase the growth rate from 1 to 5% if i am using the hcl so now coming to the oxidation rate with the differential oxide so whenever i have thicker layer of oxidation film i will be having the slower oxidation rate because oxygen need more time to diffuse across the existing oxide layer to reach the substrate of the silicon we have already talked about it so these are the references and these are the really amazing books and if you want to see how on the substrate sio2 layer the oxidation rate depends then you you can see the previous videos where i have already talked about the delen grove model and i have also talked about its uh, derivation of the differential equation in the previous video you can refer these books as well these are amazing books i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel and also share this video with your friends thank you so much